I'll tell you, I'll do my research. <laughs> That's a boy, Damon. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, now, now that y'all see that whole transaction, right? And y'all know that this is all going down in Dubai right now, right? The same day, same time. Let me show y'all what's going on on a, on, on a, a few blocks away. <laughs> Let me show y'all what's going on a few blocks away. Yo, this yo, this is a movie, man. I knew they was distracting us from something. This tell me y'all seen this anywhere on any uh channel or, or any story, news story, what I'm about to show y'all. Please tell me if you seen this story. I knew there was a distraction going on, bro. I knew it was. Here we go. Check it out. <laughs> Hailing what he called a new era in ties with the Arab world, Chinese President Xi Jinping signed a series of strategic deals with Saudi Arabia on Thursday. The leader from China, the world's biggest energy consumer, received a lavish welcome from the oil-rich nation. Xi's car was escorted to the king's palace by members of the Saudi Royal Guard riding Arabian horses and carrying Chinese and Saudi flags. She also met with Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, the de facto ruler of Saudi Arabia. The two stepped into a pavilion as a military band played the country's national anthems. The display stood in stark contrast to the low-key welcome extended to U.S. President Joe Biden in July. Ties between the U.S. and Saudi Arabia have been strained by the kingdom's energy policy and the 2018 murder of U.S.-based Washington Post journalist Jamal Khashoggi which overshadowed the awkward July visit. On Thursday, King Salman signed a comprehensive strategic partnership agreement with Xi that, according to state media, included 34 deals for investment. One of the deals included Chinese tech giant Huawei involving cloud computing and building high-tech complexes in Saudi cities. The agreement was struck despite U.S. security concerns over using the Chinese firm's technology amid Huawei's growing foray into the Gulf region. Saudi Arabia and other Gulf states have said that they would not choose sides between global powers and were diversifying partners to serve national economic and security interests. Let me show y'all how disrespectful Biden is. He then this man went to shake Biden's hand and, and Biden gave him his fist. Watch this. Stood in stark contrast to the low-key welcome extended to U.S. President Joe Biden in July. Ties between the U.S. and Saudi Arabia have been strained by the kingdom's energy policy and the 2018 murder of U.S.-based U.S. and Saudi Arabia have been low-key welcome extended. Oh, you can't see it. Damn, this thing is in the way. Well, he go to shake his hand. To the low-key welcome. Oh, he, he fist bumped him too. Um, extended to U.S. Oh, they fist President bumped. Joe Biden in July. Ties between the U.S. and Saudi Arabia have been strained by the kingdom's energy policy and the 2018 murder of U.S.-based Washington Post journalist Jamal Khashoggi, which overshadowed the awkward July visit. On Thursday, King Salman signed a comprehensive strategic partnership agreement with Xi that, according to state media, included 34 deals for investment. One of the deals included Chinese tech giant Huawei involving cloud computing and building high-tech complexes in Saudi cities. The agreement was struck despite U.S. security concerns over using the Chinese firm's technology amid Huawei's growing foray into the Gulf region. Saudi Arabia and other Gulf states have said that they would not choose sides between global powers and were diversifying partners to serve national economic and security interests.